Hi. Now, when you're using the trapezium rule to estimate the area under a curve, say this red curve here, you're often asked, is that area an overestimate or an underestimate to the true area? Now, in this diagram, I've shaded in green the area, the true area under this red curve. It looks fairly close to the area under the trapeziums that I've drawn here. But if I was to just take, say, one of these sections, let's just bring one up. Imagine that we've just enlarged it. This section here could be this one, this one, or this one. The green area would be the area under the curve in one of those sections. But when we come to draw the trapezium in, can you see that the trapezium, its area, would be greater than the green area because of this little overlap here, this white space. I'll just shade it in. When you work out the area of the trapezium, you're going to get this extra little bit of area. Not much, maybe, but nonetheless, when we put all of these together, we've got an overestimate for the area of the curve. So, when do we get an underestimate then? Well, I'm sure you've most probably guessed. It's when we have a curve something like this. When we start to draw our trapezia underneath the curve, join them up, if I take any one of those sections, let's just enlarge it. The green area goes directly to the curve, but when we take a trapezium in this instance and go from one part to the other, can you see we lose a little bit of the true area. That little bit of true area is in between that straight line and the red curve. So what we've got here when we accumulate these areas is an underestimate. And hopefully you can see then that our overestimate and our underestimate is determined by the shape of the curve. And if you're ever asked then, is it an overestimate or an underestimate, what I would encourage you to do is just draw a sketch, a simple sketch, something like this or this to demonstrate what result it's going to be. And that should be sufficient. Okay, well I'll, I hope that's given you some idea then about overestimates and underestimates using the trapezium rule.